Hello, hello. Kathy Freeman with Kathy Freeman Art. <clears throat> Popping on my usual Tuesday. Let's do something together. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have been dealing with stuff in my throat the last week. So I am on recovery, but I will probably be clearing my throat a lot. And I apologize for that. How are you today? I'm glad that you are showing up here. I am going to do a little project that I thought would be kind of fun. I like to come on here before I meet with my membership group um, and do something that we can do together and just chit chat. Now, you probably have seen, um, hold on, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. You have probably seen a little video that I have going on. If you're on my email list, then you would uh, see that email that went through. If not, check your spam because that's probably where it went. Um, it's about doing some uh, paper dyeing with an avocado. And I had seen this a while back and I thought, ooh, I want to try that. I'm always up for some kind of a new adventure when it comes to art and when it's, you know, but I tend to, if it seems like it's going to be challenging or it's going to take a little bit of extra time than what I think I have, I tend to procrastinate. And so what was happening is I was saving all these avocados. They were drying out, which is great um, on my counter, but it's like, Kathy, you really got to do something with these. You can't just have them sitting there. And um, and I really didn't want to throw it away. I wanted to go ahead and make that effort. And so the interesting thing is Sunday night while I was creating or fixing dinner for my family, I thought, you know what? You're in the kitchen anyway. I knew that the the longest part of the project was actually the steaming of the avocados. And if you see this little video, you can go to uh, my Facebook page, Kathy Freeman Creates, and um, I'll put that link in the descriptions over here in just a second. But if you go to um, that Facebook page, you will notice that um, I have a little description, an easy, quick description of um, how to make that. And what the steps I did. It's super easy. Anybody can do this. <laughs> Sometimes I shy away from some things because I think, oh my gosh, they're a little bit hard or that's going to be too hard or something like that. But no, 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 no. It was not hard. The second, let me grab this. I'm going to pull this off of here. Copy. Go back to, um, here we go. I'm going to put it in the comments da, 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 and send it out. All right. Um, my Facebook page, Kathy Makes Art. Kathy Makes Art. Kathy Makes Art. Um, I used to have one that was Kathy Freeman Art and it got hacked. <laughs> so um, I had to switch it around a little bit and it gets confusing. But anyway, hello, you that are joining me. I'm just sitting here talking about my avocado adventure. And I have put in here the um, the little link in the description if you're coming from maybe YouTube, you not, might not see that. And I can share that with you later. Just send me a message. But I want to show you the end results because the video of how I did it, it's a quick 30 second, literally very short, is in that Facebook page. And um, like I said, I was creating it while I was making dinner and it was not hard to do at all. It was just, you know, it's just something that you have to kind of watch the stove. And <clears throat> I knew I... You know, I don't really sit around the kitchen that long to do that. But da, 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 these are the pages. Now, I want to show you something a little bit. These bottom ones were the first ones that I did. And I left them in for um, an extra length of time. Go ahead and say hello and tell me who's here so I can say hello back to you. I always love to know that. Anyway, I, I, what I did is I placed all those in, let them soak for a little bit, and then pulled them out. This is actually um, drawing paper. Uh, this one is a really thin paper that is a lined paper. Another drawing paper. And then these are just printer's paper right here. And if you can see, can you see that? Yes, you can. See that wonderful texture that's created as it dries. That's the side that was facing down. I put down um, some 
oh, you could put anything. You could put saran wrap. You could put, I put baker's um, paper on there. Um, we used to call it wax paper, uh, it's, but it's non-waxed. And it just sat there and look how it created that wonderful, can you see that well enough? The lighting, it's a rainy day, so I don't have that great sunshine coming in. But you can see, you can see the lines. It makes such wonderful. And um, it's a little darker than what I thought. Now, I was taught that if you put soda in the, in the water as you're, you know, boiling and simmering these avocados, it will pull out more and it will get um, a deeper, richer color, which is, it did, it did. And um, it pulled that out. Um, these other ones, you can tell the difference, they are a lot lighter. Um, I was told in the instructions that anytime you reuse it, you could use that solution for about three days if you put it in the fridge. And I thought, um, okay, well, I'm going to try it the next day, but I didn't want to, you know, keep making these. And so anyway, I just, it said to heat it up and I thought, nah, I'm not going to try that. So I just put it back into uh, my broiler pan, which is a very thin pan, and then just quickly dunked these in. And I got a, a lighter version, obviously, than what the other one is. You can see it, um, but it's really kind of a neat burgundy. And I think it'll be, then these I just played with. What I did is I took um, my paper towel. I even saved the paper towel and dried it because I've got a project I think this will be kind of cool with to use. But I used paper towel to just stomple over these and um, created all these different little pages. And um, I'm going to put them in some of my members, that uh, the Happy Mail. And... Um, send that out to them. All right. So that shows you what comes, what came of the avocado adventure. Now today I've got a little project here that I thought would be kind of fun. And I'm going to do this. I'm actually teaching a class coming up here tomorrow night for a group of young, young people. And let me grab something first. I want to cover my um, table because I'm going to paint this all the way to the edges and I'm going to get messy. And these are young girls that are probably about 10 years old and uh, in this class. And so I'm going to tell them just get messy with it. And so I'm going to practice a couple of things and just uh, share that with you too. And it's going to be just a neat little heart uh, image here when we get done. I'm going to use acrylic paint and I'm going to go ahead and put that on. Now, before I get started, let me move me off of this and um, see if I can shift it. There we go. Shift that over. I'm going to use this acrylic paint, Conacanome Red. I do love, it's actually magenta. I love that. I just need just a little bit. <clears throat> and of course, this light olive green. And this color here is called light purple. It almost looks like an orchid to me. And this purple. There we go. Those three colors. Stick that down there out of my way. And I'm going to grab really quickly um, my water. <laughs> Just take it. Now, <clears throat> take our paintbrush and... <clears throat> This is just a fun thing to do. If you are wanting to be creative, you may be concerned about a little, you know, not having a lot of time or whatever it is, you know, that kind of stops you. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know I saw a post that um, somebody posted the other, actually it was, I think last night on Facebook and it was in someone's group and I didn't want to respond to it just because it's not my group to be responding to, but um, or give the, the advice on, I guess I should say, I'm, I'm very careful not to do that. But 
Um, she said, I have been struggling on getting creative. She said, um, my craft room is a mess. And she just had a bunch of things going on and she was having a hard time getting creative. And um, the individual that owns that particular page gave her some wonderful advice. And the first thing she told her was start with your desktop, clear off your desktop, get it organized, forget about the rest of the room right now because it will overwhelm you. Start with your desktop and make it all organized. There's something about an organized desktop that helps us to become more creative. Um, the next thing, uh, and that's basically all that she covered with her, but um, I was thinking, you know, what came in my mind is it's great to have a little simple, easy project to do to kind of just jump off that diving board. You know, sometimes you just, it just looks like it's too hard. And so you stop yourself. And this project here would be a great one to do that with. So you're going to take your brush here. And this is a little four by four piece of um, watercolor paper I'm using. And you're just going to start going around. And let's just, just play. Don't worry about, oh my goodness, what am I making? What's it going to turn out to be? Just sit here with your brush and play. I'm going to clean out my brush a little bit. And someone else has just joined us. Thank you for coming on. Love to have you put your name and say hello. Tell me where you're from. Uh, right now, I'm going to mix over here and add this right over the top and it's such a small space that it's very um it's not intimidating at all and um you can do this in a short amount of time also but it just helps to kind of release those creative juices hi joanne good to see you i know you're from springfield it's good to have you here it's good to see you again all right, now I'm going to pop right over here. This, if you just joined up, this is a project that I'll be teaching in a, um, a little group. Asked me to come and, and work with these young girls tomorrow night for about an hour or so and give them a project to work on. And I thought, okay, what would be something quick? Because that's the, the biggest issue is always having something quick. And then something that you know that any kind of level can do. And that's what this project is coming from. So we're going to, just paint this right up right here. And I am a person who loves Valentine's Day. Some people do not like that holiday. But I love that holiday. Um, mostly just because of the, the colors and all the festive hearts, etc. That's there. Okay. Now, I've, I, you can tell what my favorite color is here. <laughs> Just by the amount that I've put on my page, right? My favorite color is the Kodakono magenta <laughs> out of all of these. I'm not much of a purple gal, but <laughs> I just thought it would go well. I'm going to take my dryer real quick because I want to put a layer over the top with the green and I don't want to blend it. It'll turn into brown when you start mixing compliments. So let's take a second and dry this. dry the back a little bit because um, you can either kind of wet it or put the heat on it, but it will help to straighten it out as it starts to bubble up. Okay. Now let's bring back in this wonderful green. Ooh, I love that color of green. Now uh, this image is going to be right in the center. So we don't need, I'm not concerning myself too much with the outer parts because that's going to be covered up. But I'm going to add just a little bit of green here and I'm going to layer it on thick so it shows up over all the other colors. This little project, if you uh, don't want to just sit and dab like I'm doing, you could do stripes. You could do lots of different things. Um, you're just creating something in the background Uh, as you play. All righty. I'm making sure that I've got 
So I'm not sure exactly where my, I'm going to cut out a heart here. I'm not sure exactly where it's going to fall. So make sure that, you know, you have it pretty much all covered up. There we go. And that is a confusing <laughs> little bit of, you might think, oh my goodness, that's a mess. That's a mess. But just watch, and this is what's going to be fun for these girls. Give it a dry. Okay, I'm going to let that dry for a second while I go ahead and cut out my heart. And I'm going to use this as an object lesson, too, because um, it's, going to, it's a little church group that invited me to come in and set that aside for a second. We're going to let that dry. Bring over my paper. And um, I thought, you know, the object that comes to my mind, and I'd love, you know, any input you have. You might have a thought, too, but... Do you see what I'm doing here? You might, some thought might come to you. Um, but there's so much confusion and I was in this world. And I was thinking also that a lot of times, you know, with kids, it's interesting. Okay, we're going to just, I started to kind of think for a minute, oh my goodness, I got to make a perfect heart. <laughs> and then I stopped myself and reminded, no, this is not about that. That's just, let's just create one. Let it be, let it be, whatever it turns out to be. All right. Um, going back to what I was saying is that a lot of times, especially with young kids that are, you know, just starting those teen years. And um, a lot of times with girls, I don't mean to just isolate girls, but it's true. They get their feelings hurt. Their feelings get hurt very easily. Somebody can say something. I don't know, somebody had said something the other day and it, it kind of hurt my heart. I was thinking about it. It wasn't directed towards me, actually. It was directed towards somebody else and it hurt my heart to think that, you know, that was being said. And, and, um, it's easy to let that kind of sit in there and causes some stress, doesn't it? And so this whole little message is, um, bringing peace to their heart and how they can bring peace to their heart. So I thought I'd make this into a little object lesson besides the art and talk to them very briefly because there are only, I think they said they're about 10, 11, somewhere in there. So, all right, we're just cutting this out. And you know what might be kind of cute? I like to make fat hearts myself. Um, and mostly because I wanted the area to be lots of paint to show. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. What I'm doing is called painting the negative. All right, we will take this back and um, get that back in focus. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love the colors in that on that. Just love it. I'm going to place this right over. Nope, wrong. We're called painting the negative. That would be painting the positive. This is painting the negative. And I need my white paint this time. You could use white, you could use cream, you could use whichever you felt like. And Joanne, um, you might have remembered a project that we did in the past in our membership group where we did that. I think I have it right over here. I was going to show them. This is something that I did with the group um, this time last year. And it's with this little deer. And we did it. It was um, a mixed media where we actually laid down papers and paint and all different things and created this background. And then I had you, um, gave you the template of the little girl and the deer. It's called feeding the deer. And then, um, work this process. You can do it straight on, do it like that. Let's just do it straight on. Paintbrush again, paper towel. Huh. 
How's it doing where you're at in Springfield, Illinois? Are you guys doing okay up there? We are doing a-okay here. All right, you really want to make sure everything is dry before you do this. Um, and before I forget and get going, keep your fingers on this. I need my surface because we're going to go all the way to the edge. You're painting it out all the way to the edge. And you might need two coats. You could also use for this um, gesso if you wanted. That would be nice. The acrylic paint works great too. Might need a little more. You want to give yourself enough on your. Okay, I'm going to leave that and try to lift my fingers off carefully. I don't want it to move, which it's already a little bit wet, so it probably wouldn't. All right. Uh, just a little bit more. Got a little messy with that. Wipe that off. Okay, I'm going to turn it so it makes it a little easier because I'm a lefty. So when you're creating this, if you like to do, this is a fun little Valentine. We've got Valentine's coming up. And I'm going to be sharing with the group some um, Valentine's that I made. I'll post them out so you can see them. This is a quick, easy, fun card to create. Here we go. Yep, you're painting the negative. You're painting everything around the object. And I'm going over it a couple of times just because I want it to have a stark contrast to really um, stand out. Move that around there. <laughs> Let's get to the top. And you don't have to spend as much time as what I'm doing on this, but... Okay. There, get rid of some of the streaks that I see on mine. And it's just very relaxing to sit here and do this. <laughs> so that's why I am. All righty. Now comes the reveal. And that's the final. You can lift it up. I'm going to use something that um, this little end right here. Just because it's still wet. You could dry it right now if you wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and lift it. So I'm not taking up more time, your time drying it. Pull it off and there's your heart. Isn't that beautiful? All the colors that shows through. And what an easy project. <laughs> Something super, super easy. Easy to do. All right, I'm gonna give this a little dry. go let that sit that aside and what a quick easy valentine something fun to do right there um i'll show you the patterns i created last night for the members there 
contemplating whether to put these out, but I'll give you the ideas and you can create your own if you want. Let me see here. Where is my, those are my first sketches. Where's my final sketches? Here we go. And I'm going to do these live. Um, I'll do these live. I'm not sure if I'm going to turn it into a challenge or what, but I think it'd be kind of fun to do. But this one, love grows when a, with a little sunlight. And then this one, I'm going to um, use just watercolors and create some stripes in that and that. This one right here, it says, my heart is twitterpated over you. <laughs> it's a little bird sitting in a heart, Valentine. And then I drew up a little elephant. It says, you are unforgettable, Valentine. <laughs> so I thought these would be kind of fun. And I'm not sure if I'm going to turn this into a challenge um, or what. But this next week, I'll be launching those out. All right. That's all we're going to do for today. And thank you so much for showing up here and being a part of this. Um, if you're not on my email list, Go ahead and jump on and go over to kathyfreemanart.com. Right there on that website page, as you get on there, it has a place you can get on the email list, and it always posts on there things that are going on. The other thing that's important is I don't open up my membership all the time. I do have it coming up here in February where I'm going to open it, but I open it to um, individuals that jump on the uh, waiting list. And how do you get to the waiting list? You go to um, myartsisters.com and look up the membership, My Art Sisters. Click on there and it will be take you right to the page that explains everything that we do in our membership. And um, let me go back over here so I'm not talking. There we go. <laughs> um, and at the very top, it talks about membership and going ahead and getting on that waiting list. I just recently, um, we had a member who had to quit because of financial circumstances. So that opened up a spot and I had someone on the waiting list and I asked them, would you like to join? Gave them the opportunity. So that's how I pull people um, and give them that option to join the membership. So do go over there to the waiting list and join that. All right. You have a great day and I hope that you start thinking of some fun things to create with this holiday coming up and post them. I'd love to see them. It's Kathy Freeman with Kathy Freeman Art. Show, thanks for showing up today. And I'll be here again next Tuesday around 1030. Thanks y'all. Have a great day.